In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create and design a custom WooCommerce account page in Elementor as you are watching, without any third-party plugin. Later, I will show you how to hide entire Elementor sections based on the user credentials. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Natalie. My, the My Account page is one of the most visited pages in a whole store. Additional, it's where your users manage their information, billing details, addresses, payment methods and so on. Today's video is about how to make a mode and look into this relevant page without the need to use any plugin. Let's go! I'm using these four plugins, WooCommerce, Dynamic Content, Add-on for Elementor and the two Elementor, so to speak. I'm using a free extension from the Dynamic Content Company, it works very well with the free Elementor version. Anyway, I will leave you the link below, so you can check it. So from the WordPress admin, create a new page, account 2, as normally you do. Now move over to WooCommerce Settings, Advanced tab. And from there, set up the new account page as the new page. Save. I leave open the WooCommerce page settings, advanced to copy and past the endpoints. Endpoints are an extra part in the website URL that is dictated to show different content when presented. It allows us to show different content without the need for multiple pages and short codes. Now move over to your page tabs, account two page to start in designing inside Elementor. I had a one column section. In the advanced tab, I insert the top padding with a light gray color. Now I had the heading. I changed the text to my account. It's a H2 tag, center aligned, black color. As for the size, I enable the RAM value and I put four, five RAMs. In the advanced tab, I adjust the top padding to 150 pixels. It's really much better now. Now I click on this little top icon to add the new widget and I drag in an inner section below my heading. Now I click on this blue bar to edit my background color and under the style tab I had a darker gray color. I like this dark color. Now I use an icon box widget to build the page elements. I quickly search for icon box and I drag it to my first left column. In my account endpoint settings we find the first one called orders, right? OK. So with your mouse select the text, copy and paste, paste it. In the title section simply paste the orders text. Delete the description as you don't need it. For the linking part, I need to grab the right URL address. So I navigate over my website, I grab this URL and I paste it here. Change the endpoints to orders. The icon is a card icon. Select and insert it. I want a framed view. I 
under the style tab my primary icon color is this dark color for spacing i go with 40 pixels a size 20 pixels is fine for me and padding i also had a 20 pixels i want to change the text color so i click on the content i change the color to white in the advanced tab i had a 1m padding to all margins excellent and now i duplicate the column and i drag to the second one and so forth just like you are watching me doing at this point i got five columns for the second i copy the account endpoint downloads and i paste it in the tight section For the linking, I also change the endpoint to downloads. I change the icon to file download. Click insert and done. I click now on my third column to customize it. So I grab the handpoint. Profile is the title. I paste here the title profile. And for the linking, I change the handpoint to edit account. Great! The icon is the user. Insert and done. Great, it's looking good so far. For the fourth, I click on the fourth item. Address is the name title. Copy and paste. The linking past paste here, the edit address endpoint. The icon is address. Done. Click on the five item. Logout is the last one. For the title is logout. And for the linking option, I paste the hand point here. I want to unlock icon. I insert and done. Now, inside the inner section, I need to tweak some design settings. I want to set up a negative margin for my five items. It's more attractive and modern look. So I select the inner section by clicking on the blue left icon, go to the advanced tab and margin top minus 18 pixels. Boom. There you go. That's the way I like it. Last one is for my heading. So I selected from the advanced tab, I had 60 pixels bottom padding update. Now I want to add my account shortcode from WooCommerce. So I had the new section below. Under the advanced tab, I had a top margin of 150 pixels and the shortcode, shortcode widget. Shortcodes is an easy way to add dynamic content into WordPress. Shortcodes use square brackets text to define how they are used. I insert the shortcode here. Just copy and paste this in a shortcode widget. I will leave the link, the shortcode below and click on the apply and update to assume all the changes. Let's test this out. Opening my website. Refresh. Boom, perfect. 
If I click on each of these five items, I get this beautiful design and attractive layout. My user now finds the account details in a much more modern design. Now, as a bonus, I want to hide two entire Elementor sections based on the user credentials. I will be using my own credentials as an admin to hide the heading and the five items. So, I select the heading. Under the visibility tab, I turn on the visibility options. And under the trigger section, the user role, I enable visitor. It's for no logged users. Now I select the inner section. In the, visibility, in the visibility tab, I activate the visibility options. Under the user and role, I specify two visitors. I navigate over to WordPress dashboard, click on the account page. Both sections are hidden. I also update my menu item to account two to set, to set up the entire process. So I go to the menu tab, select the account page two and click on add to menu button. Now I click on the hold account page. I click on this down arrow and click one more to remove completely the link and save it. Refresh. Cool. Now you have a clear idea of how you actually can implement this attractive account page design to your own website with Elementor and Dynamic Extension, both free versions. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to this channel, leave a like down below or leave a comment down. Have a great day wherever you are. I see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.